have Mary Elsie Daisy here, who has been at Gallaudet College, which is, as we all know, our nation's number one school for those who cannot communicate speech-wise and deafness. And uh, she's a graduate of NC State with a baccalaureate degree and a master's degree in family counsel counseling for the hearing impaired. Mary Elsie, we're just so pleased you could come and visit on. Uh, when my own two-year-old daughter was diagnosed as being profoundly deaf, of course, that was 22 years ago, and I've learned a lot in mm -hmm. that period of time. But fortunately, she was the first child um, with whom cued speech was used. Cued speech has just been invented back in 1966, mm -hmm. and we had the wonderful positive experience of being the first to use this new communication method for the hearing impaired. Well, now, when I talk with my deaf daughter, who's now 24 years old, I move my hands like this and she understands everything that I say, exactly, mm -hmm. every sound. And what I'm doing probably looks very confusing to you, but it's actually a very simple system which uses eight different shapes of the hand, cued in four different positions around the mouth. First, and those hand uh, movements are cat, read in combination hers. with the natural mouth movements of speech. Cued yeah. speech is an aid to lip reading. And what it does very simply is provide a picture of what those of us who can hear are getting through our hearing. Um, it provides a visual picture of the spoken language. So it provides a way for a person even who is profoundly deaf to understand every sound that is said. It, it seems so theoretically sound that you know, we decided right then and have not had a moment's regret because it, it's enabled us to have a very normal family life. And of course, my daughter Leah was the first that it was used with, but since then, hundreds of other families all across the, the world, really, mm -hmm. have begun using cued speech, and um, quite a few of them are growing up now and becoming young adults who are very happy, well-adjusted, and productive members of society, so we feel like it was well worth the, the gamble back in 1966. Well, absolutely, that's one of the big advantages of using cued speech. It is not a different language like American Sign Language. If you learn American Sign Language, oh. it's like learning any foreign language. You've got to study it for years and use it with people who use it as their native language. Cued speech is not like that. It's very simply a code to the spoken language, in our case, English, although it can be used in 42 different languages or dialects. You learn the code in a, a two-day uh, class or workshop in most cases. We have classes at the Cute Speech Center in Raleigh that are two days long every month. In that period of two days, you learn the entire system and you do not have any vocabulary limitations. You can cue any word in the English language. You can cue baby talk like goo goo ga ga or you can cue uh, psychological or uh, Mary Poppins words supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. And I, you mean with eight hand symbols? and four different and positions. four positions of your right. face. And you can reach over that many, is this, is this exactly. in a matter of sounds and the sense of uh, the structure of the, the muscles? Well, it's, it's a phonetic based system. Mm -hmm. But what makes it so simple for the cuer to learn mm -hmm. is that you're using the natural mouth movements of speech and you're just clarifying what is seen on the mouth. Uh, lip reading is so difficult because so many sounds in English look exactly like so many other sounds. And the basic principle of cued speech is that every sound will look different on either the hands or the mouth. So that words that look alike on the mouth, like meet, beat, peat, you cannot tell them apart if you cannot hear, will be different on the hands, meet, beat, peat. It certainly develops a mental uh, facility that uh, isn't ordinarily in children, then the, the, the dexterity of it, if that's the right word. Well, you'd be surprised. Children of almost any intellectual range are able to absorb this. Um, if they're presented the language in a clear form that they can understand, they can absorb it and eventually give it back to you expressively. Um, and the interesting thing about learning this is that it's Easy, anyone can learn it. It's a mechanical skill like learning to type. Uh, no matter what your educational range, no matter what your intellect, you can learn to cue because it's a mechanical skill. So then if I'm uh, 
65 years of age and some disease closes out my capacity, you mean I can learn this? Absolutely. You might be a little bit slower than, say, a five-year-old learned it, as we all know. They, they just absorb it. My hearing children just absorbed it. Uh, you don't teach it to a young child. An older person would have to take a little bit more time, mm -hmm. but it is very beneficial for people who lose their hearing later in life. It's not just for little kids who are born deaf. Um, and the, the bulk of the population in this country with hearing impairments are those who've lost their hearing. I mean, it could happen to either of us any time, from illness, um, injury, progressive hearing loss. We, our vision fails and our hearing fails as we get older. And for people like that, um, acute speech can reestablish or uh, continue communication with the people's uh, fa uh, family and friends instead of having to learn a, a totally different system. It can be learned very simply. Mm -hmm. and. Um, a deaf person really needs to have some awareness of speech reading, or lip reading as it's frequently called, um, to be able to read the cues. But it can be used with a young baby and they learn instinctively the lip reading skills. And I think the, the benefits of cued speech um, are, are so widespread, um, it, it's kind of contradictory to how simple it is to learn it and use it. Mm -hmm. because the benefits of cued speech, uh, it provides clear communication both in the family and in the school setting or eventually as the person gets older, social and work settings also. The greatest benefit is natural language input so that a young child, even though born deaf, will know the spoken language by the time they start school if their family uses it consistently. Mm -hmm. Then also there are the benefits because of the knowledge of the spoken language, the child learns how to read. Reading has been one of the biggest problems in education of the deaf in the past. So many deaf um, children cannot read. Studies have indicated that that still is just as bad a situation, that most deaf children when they finish school are only reading at the third or fourth grade level. Children who are have had the advantages of cued speech and are growing up and being educated with that are not in that range and frequently they're not counted in these more recent surveys because they're mainstreamed in public schools. Um, many of these studies are done at schools for the deaf or where there's a large population of deaf children. Most of the children who've had the advantages of cued speech are in isolated programs, just mainstreamed and they're not counted in these studies. But their, um, you know, their academic attainments are very good. And we know of many hundreds of case studies now. About that experience you just had in Charlotte to illustrate uh, this point, I think it's very revealing. Okay, I was there for the Exceptional Children's Conference several weeks ago, and I talked to a mother of a three-year-old deaf child who was using cute speech there. She started telling me about a family that she had just met that was very upset. They have a four-year-old, and they did not know anything about cute speech. Mm -hmm. They're very angry and frustrated because they had never heard of cute speech, and they've wasted four years of their child's life. The mother who was telling me, in comparison, has a, a little daughter who is almost three. Uh, they have been using cute speech for a year and a half. And this child has no bounds to what she knows. Um, she's well versed in the common three-year-old interests like um, Pooh Bear and Eeyore and uh, Bert and Ernie and the other Sesame Street characters. They can s talk to her about anything. Uh, she just had some recent language testing that indicated even though she was two years, 11 months, her receptive language was three years, 10 months. So she's really ahead of where um, hearing children would be at her age. And that mother said, we just feel like a miracle is happening before our eyes as they watch her language develop. For all who benefit so much from this, and we thank you for what you do, Mary Elsa Daisy. Thank you for joining me. Thank you.